right, so we're going to test out high speed tracking, see if it avoids these trees here. Nice. Welcome back. Uh, my name is Chad, and if you're new to this channel and you like drone reviews and drone related stuff, go ahead and uh, start by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know the next time I post my videos. All right, today we're here at the lovely uh, Belmont Bay in Northern Virginia, uh, in Woodbridge, Virginia. So um, it's a little cloudy today. It's not the best conditions and it's a little windy, but we are going to go ahead and uh, do this. Uh, testing on the active track so um, just bear with me I'm gonna set this up real quick and I'll be right back hi guys welcome back uh, so I'm all set uh, to activate the active track uh, it's fairly simple just go ahead and uh, trace your target you can start by tracing your target on your screen just like that and then it brings up a couple of selections for right now, I'm going to start the uh, the tracking, and I'm going to track parallel. Press that, and I'm going to track parallel this time. For now, and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to raise my altitude just a little bit, if I can. All right, raise it up just a little bit because there's a little obstacle over here, and I'm going to start by walking. So I'm gonna do. It tracks fairly well. So you, you have to, I believe you have to set the your distance beforehand. And right now that kind of threw it off a little bit. Yeah, so I'm pulling back on the stick. And it's not allowing me to uh, pull back. And it looks like it's shifting directions. Yeah, I guess I did pull back just a little bit. Let's see if I can raise my height. Alright, it's raising. Okay, we're good. So I guess you can. But it looked like it adjusted the, uh, the angle as I was pulling back on the stick. Directions. Let's see if it'll stay parallel to me. I'm going to the grass here. All right. Good. So it's just staying on the side of me. Let's see if I switch directions. See if it come back on the other side. All right. So it is swinging around. So it's going to stay on the right of me. Nice. So whatever side you you set it to, it'll stay on that side if it's going parallel. Now I'm going behind these trees and it's picking me back up. It loses me and then picks me back up. Okay. All 
All right, so from here, I think I have enough, enough wide open space. I'm gonna do the, uh, the circle me. I'm gonna let it circle me as, it's, as I'm tracking, or as it's tracking me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop this. Turn, go back this way. And I'm gonna do the, uh, the circle. Make it a little faster, I'm going that direction, and I'm gonna hit go. All right, so I should have enough room, yes, to avoid any uh, obstacles. Let's see if it'll keep up with me. Let's go jogging. that stuff so just gotta rely on my feet and just go ahead and jog I need to get a little bit more exercise anyway probably need to go faster because it's not circling me fast enough so probably gotta speed it up Now it's keeping up. a little bit too close to these uh, trees over here so I'm gonna start heading back this way right about here all right so if I bring it in closer all right a little closer bring it down just a little now I hit trace and let's go okay so now it'll follow me Now what we're gonna do is take it through these trees over here. A couple obstacles to see if it uh, avoids them. So I have the A-pass on um, pilot assistance, I guess that's what they call it. I have that on, so it should avoid and go around any obstacle in front of it. Of course this has front and rear obstacle avoidance and uh, no side obstacle avoidance or top or um, on the top all right so it avoided that tree also you have your sensors on the bottom of course Stuff pretty good. Nice. All right, let's see. 
around these trees. Now you have some branches here. Let's see if it goes underneath the branches. Whoa, that was close. But it avoided it. Now if I was going a little faster, maybe, I don't know. Maybe one half. Let's see if it'll go. Yeah, made it underneath. All right, and I wonder if it'll pick up its altitude once I'm clear of all this. Well, maybe do, do I need to pick it up myself? Okay, it's picking up a little bit. All right, so let's go to, through this tight spot. Right in here. All right, I have uh, complete confidence in this thing just can't you know do parallel through here because it doesn't have any side senses how you doing Good. all right <laughs> majority of people you come across they like drones they do like drones they always find them interesting especially uh the drones today, with the uh, amount of technology that's in them now. So, all right, so it's a little low. If it'll raise up, okay, it's starting to raise up now. All right, so going back to where I came from. Who the heck is... <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Let's track this guy. He looks suspicious. We're going to track QC guy. Alright, there you go. Alright, so we're going to test out high speed tracking. See if it avoids these trees here nice all right we got a subject on the ground white male approximately 5'9 5'10 with a gray beard he's running uh, aimlessly through uh, <laughs> the trees here okay lost you all right, that was a good test. Let's try it again. All right. With the mask on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead. You good? Okay. Yeah, it lost you. Stop it. Thanks. Hi right, guys. That's it for the active track. It's just those, uh, I believe it's just those three features. Um, the trace, the parallel, and then the circle. As you can see, this tracking system is definitely uh, good. So we had a special guest to uh, help out uh, Chris the QC guy. <laughs> That's my man Donnell over there. I got uh, Chris, Donnell, and Corey over there. But uh, anyway, like I was saying, this active track system is, is pretty good. But the only uh, 
thing is um, at high speed trying to avoid and uh, avoid obstacles and keep track of the subject it, it's kind of weak in that area but as far as just walking at normal speed it's pretty good I kind of like it I'm having a good time flying it so there's going to be more videos to come I would like to go over the uh, quick shots go ahead and uh, go through the quick shots and, and figure those out as well so it's not the greatest day today but I am going to do a little bit more flying with uh, these fellas over here and um, until next time guys go ahead and check out some of these uh, videos I don't know exactly where I think it, it'll be over here yeah check out some of these videos uh, I do have a playlist for the um, Mavic Air 2 you can check that out um, also I have some other videos you may be interested in so go ahead and check those out so until the next video peace